Hi viewers, welcome to Healthy Living with Marvel. Today it's a very interesting topic. I want to thank everybody where you don't subscribe, you don't watch my YouTube channel. I say kudos to you. In fact, you're the reason why I'm here. I want to celebrate all of you. I love you so much. Today I have a very important topic because so many people they don't email me, they don't text me, they don't WhatsApp me, they don't ask me, say please, can you tell us something about menstruation? We don't know how to calculate our menstrual cycle. We don't know when we are fertile. We don't know when we are unfertile. I don't know why I cannot conceive. I don't know why my menses is painful. I don't know so many little complications about menstruation, fertility, and things like that. So today, I don't decide to make a doctor series about menstrual cycle. In fact, it will be a very interesting topic. So if you want to follow me in this doctor series, please like, comment, subscribe. And why not turn on the notification bell and take all so that whenever I post a new video in this our doctor series, you will be the first person to be notified. As I did tell you now, it will be a very interesting topic. So women out there, they don't still know how to calculate their menstruation. They don't know how to calculate when they are safe and when they are not. You can see some women go born picking picking the six months, seven months, eight months, it already carry the leg. Why? Because that woman no be know how to calculate a menstrual cycle. If you get mommy, you get sister, you get picking. This topic be very, very important. Not talk say, eh, no, I don't want to carry belly. You get small sister, you get picking, you get neighbor. When you come for your house, or they can ask you, say, my sister, help me for calculate my menstrual cycle. So this uh, topic today, it be very, very important. So, we will start by defining menstruation. Where to be menstruation? What is it all about? Yes, where to be menstruation? If someone can ask you, say, sister, I beg, tell me where to be menstruation. Menstruation, that period for woman is skin, where it is that experience blood, where it come up from a system, from a woman's skin, once a month. Now, that way they call and say menstruation, my people. And now we experience the menstruation from the age of 12, in between the age of 12 and 15, you first start experience your menses. We get very few women the way they start experience menstruation at the age of 8. It be possible, but the numbers be low, it be small. Yes. So when you start experiencing your menses at the age of in between 13, 12 and 13, wait to be the signs and symptoms in. Wait till we get some to the decline and say premenstrual syndrome. Wait to be premenstrual syndrome. Premenstrual syndrome and that sign the way a woman the experience and before you want to see menses. Some person will feel weak, some person will feel dizzy, some person will feel say a belly to flop, some person will feel small pain around. In underbelly, yes. Then some person will get pimples eh, all around the face. Some person will get fever. That one that they call them for big time, say premenstrual syndrome. So my people, as I be the tell now about menstruation, this thing a doctor series. It go long because we will talk so many things. Eh, as I tell you now, we will talk about menstruation. I will teach you about the menstrual cycle. We will talk about fertility. We will talk all possible reasons the way woman need to carry belly because of infertility. We will talk about all those things. Eh. So which are the advice you now say subscribe so that. Because I know go do this thing at one session. Subscribe so that when I will come again with the next topic, you will still be notified. Because this thing there, so it will help you. It will help me. Yes, my people. Them as we begin the talk before we go for start calculating menstrual cycle, we really need for no way to be menses. Now, what will happen for our system before the menses start come out? Or we will not say womb and girl womb. Yes, as I talk so, when I go to see the womb, as I explain now, when I go to see the womb, as I now look up on a screen, when I go see womb and womb, yes. Now, womb and womb, that so. Now, the womb, that so. Now, that place where the carry belly, now in that. Now, the womb, that. And after that womb, where menses, it come out, it come out for you, it is saying like blood. Where to be the menses, and why the menses, it come out. 
you see the ovaries now the ovaries and that so as i explain as well now look on a picture now look camera fine now look tv that two ovaries then so where they write that when they say ovaries now if for the way egg the commode woman is system they so that ovaries and get some hormones the way it is stimulate woman is system that they call and say with estrogen and progesterone the two hormones them are people now then they trigger menstruation how did the trigger menstruation woman is system don't be formed for so god formed this system for some fine way way every month the system they act on its own you go see our womb will be thickening or it will increase in size why it will increase in size it will increase in size because every month your womb they prepare itself the womb said they prepare itself say you want carry Belay, you understand no? Won't they prepare itself say it won't carry belay? So when did they happen? This estrogen and progesterone, they, they stimulate the womb for the way where the womb they become double in size. Ma put on some people. But any medical personnel where you hear me, you will understand what you are mean. The womb they become granular, it become thickening in size because why? It is already getting prepared to receive a baby. So when picking no finally can for can anchor for inside the womb when it go happen that ticking where the womb watch your 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 your, your, your picture as i explain so when the womb do become ticking you know receive picking when it go happen the womb go shade because hey, wait, that thickness it be made up of fibrosis and blood you understand not? so now blood and tissues them that womb be made that womb where it don't be ticking be made up of waiting my people it be made up of blood and uh, tissues so if picking up finally come that womb go scrape the womb go scrape you understand normal people the womb go scrape it go go back for a normal position as the womb is scrape back for go back for a normal position now it will it come out as Blood. Now we will go see our menstruation. So people will say, hey, I don't menstruate. I know they with belly. Yes. When you menstruate, it means you know they with belly. But so woman go ask me, say, where and see, I be the they with the belly. I don't know say I they with belly. Oh, because say I be carry belly. I they still menstruate. So they my picking me day five months. I don't know say I they with it. Belay, that one they need to call and say menstruation. That one they call and say bleeding in pregnancy. If now went that way, the experience is um, peeving me for back. I go explain that for you, but that one on the way will talk uh, today, my people. So make we move ahead. So, my people, now so we will go for inside the menstrual circle proper, proper. You know, so I know if you talk about menstrual circle, we and never make a moon understand what to go on for woman's skin before the woman start menstruating. So, as I do want to talk about the circle proper, proper, now look on a calendar or look for television, maybe show you that calendar as I explain now. Menstrual circle is start now that day where your menses is start. You understand now that day one. Where your menses is start. Your menses is not fit start on the face. Your menses is start on the feet. Your menses is start on the twelfth. Your menses is start on the thirtieth. That one missing that your day one of your menses. Your menses is start on the feet on the tenth on the twentieth. Now your start of your menstrual circle that. You understand? So your menstrual circle consists of what? The way your menses start. The way your menses stop. Your ovulation period, ovulation period, and day where your human skin they release egg quality egg, not be any kind of egg. And when I talk of egg, not be any kind of egg quality egg. You understand? No? And your human skin where it join with your pituitary gland now it is stimulate ovulation when that egg be released. So, yes, when it sees sperm, bam, it just fit the, the sperm, they just fertilize the egg. Now that day where they call and say ovulation, where your woman skin release that egg. So now it be part of your menstrual circle. Then the next day again of your next period again. I'm using day where your period again will come next month. That first day again, now it consists of one menstrual circle. Like I was saying, my people, I will talk about ovulation because it's not every woman that ovulates. But before we go to ovulation, let's talk about the menstrual cycle. 
For example, if you have menstruated on the first of May, and let's say your period lasts for five days, so women will menstruate for three days, so women will menstruate for four days, some will menstruate for five days. You understand? So we menstruate for five days. So it doesn't matter the number of days you menstruate, but just understand what we are saying. If you menstruate on the first of this month, right? And if you be that normal woman, because 80% of the world population have a 28 days menstrual cycle. What does that mean? It means that if you menstruate on the first, your menses will come again on the 28th of this month, on the 28th of May. It means that your menses have come after 28 days. 80% of the world population women fall under this category. So if you have a 28-day cycle, it means that if your menses start on the 1st, you will count 28 days. Please, don't start counting on the second. Start counting on the first day of your menstruation. It means that if your menses start on the first, you say first, second, third, fourth, up to the 28th. And the 28th will be on the 28th of this month. So as I was saying, if you, if you start menstruating on the fifth, it means that you will, you will start counting on the feet from the calendar. Please look at your calendar. If you start menstruating on the feet of this month, it means that after 28 days, you will menstruate again on the first of next month. If you start menstruating on the first of this month, your next menses will come again on the 28th of this month. That is after 28 days. No matter the day you start menstruating, whether be it on the 10th or on the 20th, just count 28 days after that. That will be the day you will menstruate next, again on your next period. So how do we calculate ovulation day? The day, some people will call it good day, some people will call it bad day. What is an ovulation day? Ovulation is day 14 of your circle. Ovolution day, I repeat, is day 14 of your cycle, which means if you start menstruating on the first, you will count first as one, two as second, until you land on day 14, which will be on the 14th of that month. It will be your ovolution day. If you start menstruating on the first, sorry, if you start menstruating on the fifth, your ovolution day will be on the 18th. Your ovulation day cannot be my ovulation day. Your sister's ovulation day cannot be your ovulation day because maybe you start menstruating differently. You that you start menstruating on the first and me that I start menstruating on the 10th, we will have different ovulation day because I will count 14 days of my circle. You will count day 14 of your circle. It will the days will not be the same. So I want you to understand me very well. My people, I really want to understand me fine. Say with it. Ovulation no na say it happen every 14 of every month. Oh. No na see what I talk. Wait till I talk na say ovulation it happen 14 days after you menstruate. Now wait till I want to really, really understand. Yes. I want to me really, really understand, say, day where you menstruate, now day one, count 14 days, that number 14, now day that way you go ovulate. Thank you, my people. Wow. If you are new to my channel, please like, comment, subscribe. Why not turn on the notification bell so that whenever I post a new video, you are going to be notified. As we don't talk about ovulation, so where to go be our next topic, my people? Not be not all women the ovulate. Now why that way? So women they define and difficult for carry belly. So women they always experience miscarriages and things like that. So on our next topic, we are talking about reasons why women don't ovulate or reasons of infertility. You see and say 
either you will need the carry belly, you will fall inside one of these things that we are going to talk about on my next topic. So subscribe so that whenever I load this new video, you are going to be notified. Thank you. Please like, share, comment, turn on the notification bell. Have a lovely day.